and Mesa County Commissioner Cody Davis is gearing up for a re-election bid this November. After talking to his presumed challenger Tom Acker earlier this month, our Michael Lagerwell sat down with the incumbent commissioner to find out why he's running for a second term. Got a lot done in my first term and really a lot of stuff that I want to continue on and, and get done in my second term. Cody Davis's first term as Mesa County Commissioner wraps up this fall. In Mesa County, commissioners can be elected for two consecutive terms but have to sit out a term before they can run for a third. Property taxes has been a big thing that have hit people this last couple of years. Davis penned addressing rapidly increasing property taxes as a big focus if he were to be elected for a second time. In Mesa County, um, about 40% increase on the average house in Mesa County. That's a lot for people who are living on a fixed income. But if taxes go too low, public goods can't be funded. Davis stressed finding a balance. Well, I was appointed by the governor of Colorado to sit on the um, statewide tax task force to see if we could figure out a way to one, lower taxes for people um, and make sure that those grow predictably in the future. Yet it's yet the same token, make sure that local taxing districts have the money they need to provide basic services like water, sewer, roads, broadband, you name it. I asked Davis about a claim Tom Acker made in our interview about the current group of Mesa County commissioners getting too comfortable. The Republicans have always been county commissioners. Could lend itself to just, you know, too comfortable. I mean, maybe secure in that we are a... Um, um, probably 65% plus Republican district. To be clear, party affiliation numbers posted by the Colorado Secretary of State in 2022 showed while there were more than double the amount of registered Republicans compared to Democrats, the biggest voting block in Mesa County is unaffiliated voters. But yes, there, there are three Republicans as opposed to two Republicans and, and one Democrat. Um, I don't know that things would be all that different because most of the stuff we, we work on, there are things that are political, but most of the stuff we work on um, is not political. I asked Davis what he's accomplished during his first term in office. My first four years, we focused on keeping taxes low, building core infrastructure. So we focused on dilapidated bridges, expanding roads, um, chip and seal pavement, because people want roads that don't have holes in them, right? Uh, we have a new behavioral health division under Mesa County that's focusing on keeping people not in prison, but out in the community working and getting the services they need. Davis also points out county investments in Clifton, like the new Mesa County Library branch, but now let's go to the campaign trail. So the primary in June, um, I'll be the only Republican candidate on the ballot. Davis has his sights set on November, presumably facing political newcomer Tom Acker. Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. And you can read more about Davis's opponent Tom Acker on our website, WashingtonSlopeNow.com, under the Election HQ tab.